They're on copyrighted since they're fair use. Yeah, I know. It's not really affecting my channel anyways. Alright, so I've seen this guy's... Uh, I've seen this dude's work before. And it's a circuit or some SFM creepypasta or something. It's called the Copycats. The YouTube gods. I am very excited for this though, because I, I really like this guy's work in animation. So let's see how this one goes. There's something about Hello. like copycats and general like skinwalkers just gives me the heaver heavers, dude. Nobody remembers when they appeared. Some think they have been here since the beginning of time and space. Or at least since the first human existed. I Others left think they my came point. into existence more recently. Stay inside. I personally don't care where they come from or how they got here. I only really care about keeping myself alive. The copycats. That's what we call them. Most of the time they look almost human, trying to copy the appearances of their last victims. I say almost because they often appear as tall as the streetlights or have big bulging eyes and smiles with too many teeth. Some of them can speak, too, sort of as a way to lure us out. In reality, most of them aren't... I'm just going to quick be pause here. SFM, yes, I just said it at the beginning, Jack. Listen, please. Secondly, if they are literally tall as the, like a lamp or they're not really that powerful, just maybe like terrifying or strong or dangerous, just literally... Dun, 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 you know what I mean? Like, holy monoculars. I mean, if it's the same eight, 8 billion people as 8 billion copycats, that's another story. Really talking, just reusing things they hear before their victims die. Someone help me, please. Their mouths never move when they speak, and they never move an inch when they do. But those who can Maybe speak a knife. don't sound human. They speak in tongues with deep voices that sound gentle, masking their violent natures, calling out for their victims. Asking them to accept their fates, to finally accept death and come to them, the Reapers. Kids, come out of your room. They like to live in dark spaces, areas where you can't tell if they're human or not. Basements, alleyways, anywhere with a shadow to conceal them. The feds say to keep every corner in the house, or in my case, apartment, bright, and to make sure all doors or windows are locked. Because once they get in, Anyone inside will never come back out. I was sure that my apartment was safe, that I could live there forever. But recently, people have been running low on food. They have to risk going outside, opening the doors and letting the monsters in, forced to run through the masses of inhuman faces that flood the streets, growing as restless as we are. I see some of the braver people sometimes out my window. I see them running through the streets, only to be devoured by the copycats who fight over the scraps of the bodies. And they should use my advice, dude. Bam, bam, literally. It's been weeks now. I'm almost out of food. I'm pretty sure the other people in my apartment building have died, either oh. of starvation or by running into the copycats. I've noticed that the lights have been flickering in the apartments and that the rent forms have stopped coming in. I don't know if anyone else is alive. I don't know how long I'm going to last in this hell. Some people might say I'm the lucky one surviving this long. Personally, I think it's hell. Watching as people I love die, as the world around me dies, as this new race of monsters climbs its way to the top of the food chain, wiping us out in the process. I'm keeping this journal in case I'm not the only one in case there are others out there who somehow managed to survive against these monsters. In case someone finds me, dead or alive. What happened to the military, Stay dude? I can't do anything but keep the doors locked and keep my neighbor's shotgun at my side. That, see, Though I, I doubt the gun you. will do anything against them. Never mind. From what I remember from the news, the military tried to use tanks against them barely making a dent in the copycat's numbers before being consumed by the freaks. Okay, I got my answer. What happened to nukes? Oh, so they basically tear through that. I managed to get into a few apartments and snag some food. 
but I was almost caught by one of the monsters that got in during the food runs. They know I'm here now. Damn, dude, why you walk like that? So they can still take I damage, though. Of yours today, or I guess whatever saw them last. I remember that she was a nice old woman, with kind, caring eyes, and always helped other tenants with groceries. The kind of neighbor who would show up to your door when you first move in with a plate of cookies in hand. Now she was different. Stay away from me. Forced to become one of the worst disguises that I've ever seen a copycat use. I ran the other way when I saw her. What the fuck, dude? Bro's moving like two, three per second, literally. I think it's given up now, but I can still hear it shuffling around outside. I'm gonna wait another day before I go back out. It isn't moving, dude. It was waiting. It wasn't moving. It wasn't breathing. It was just standing there, waiting for the door to open. How the hell does something stay alive that long? Over 24 hours without a single breath of air. I guess I should count myself lucky that I was able to shut the door. It's angry now. I can hear it screaming. I managed to hide in the bathroom before I heard the sound of shattering wood. It's in the apartment now. I managed to sneak out through the window. Luckily, I was high enough to be out of reach from the flood of copycats on the street. I almost fell several times. But I made it back to my apartment without dying. I'm gonna be honest, this copycat sucks. I do really like the concept though. The food started to rot. I was trying to scavenge, sneaking around the hidden in the hallway, <laughs> and found a couple cans of food. Nothing special. Just some loosely screwed shut jars of beans, tomatoes, and peaches. Fueled by hunger, I opened one and was immediately hit by the smell. It was horrible. Uh. Like the smell of an egg after being microwaved until it was burnt. I don't know how long I can keep this up. I'm all out of food. The hallways aren't safe. And it's not like I'd risk going through the window again. All I can do now is wait to die from either the copycats or starvation. Since I'm probably going to die here, I think it might be helpful to make a list of as many copycats as I can. How they look, how they act, stuff like that. First off are the hidden. If you remember the neighbor I ran into earlier, they're like that. Barely humanoid figures that hide in the shadows to distract from their appearance. Can someone help me? Imitating loud noises drag out those who it's hunting. They are usually extremely disfigured. Uh. Most of them having a permanent smile on their face. And stands at heights from 6 feet all the way up to 10 feet tall. They can put themselves into some sort of self-induced hibernation of sorts where their bodies cease any and all activity. This can last for an undetermined amount of time. The longest I've seen this happen for was a day. I think that they do this to trick their prey out of hiding. Next are the muttering. They look almost the same as the hidden, albeit smaller, only growing to around seven feet max. They have noticeably less disfiguration, especially around their mouth, and don't hide in the shadows as much as the hiddens do. Instead, they usually stand motionless, constantly repeating the words of their victims, waiting for someone to see them. If you see something standing and talking like this, and can't tell if it's a person or not, listen to what they are saying. Most of the time, a muttering's voice will change depending on what it's saying, or screaming. Common things said by mutterings are, Help me. 
please. Don't hurt me. Stay away from me. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Or they will just stand there and scream for around 20 to 30 minutes. The third kind are what I like to call stalkers. They're some of the most dangerous of the copycats. They grow to around six feet tall and can go weeks without eating. They hide behind doors, completely still and motionless, and strike the moment the door opens. They don't have legs and walk around on their hands when they need to. If you think you might be trapped by a stalker, I recommend finding anything long and sharp. It might take a few tries, but you should try to stab through the door until you hear it shriek. They normally run away after that. I'm getting tired. I might write some more in the morning. Hey, Tim. One of them got in again. I think it crawled in from the window. I haven't seen anything like this. It's tall. Holy! It has to crawl to be able to fit in the apartment. Not much bigger than the one disguised as my neighbor. It's talking, too. Not random snippets or sentences, but full-fledged statements. I heard about these in the earlier days. Mostly rumors. Short stories writing about them. I thought they were fake. Publicity stunts by people trying to become famous. But this... This is real. A behemoth of a monster staring me in the face. I can just barely make out some of its words. Why do you wait here? What is it that fuels you? We have been watching you all this time. We have been keeping track of every move. You will never escape. This is your prison. These halls are your cell. But at any moment, any split second, we could destroy you, be this that you stop being of interest to us. So every second, you better be moving, because the second you stop, is the second that the boss, you know, in gray, in the little book, you be so desperately scribble in. Stop. And with those words, it left. It didn't attack. It didn't kill me. It crawled right back out of the window. I don't know how much time I have left, but I think I should focus less on writing all this down and more on finding out how to get out of here. Interesting. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I give that like a solid 8 out of 10. Oh, God, dude. Bro was the god of gods right there. All right, chat. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. going to prepare myself for the Fortnite uh, event that's happening soon. Hope everyone have an amazing uh, uh, hiccups. Amazing rest of your Friday and weekend. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.